All right, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Kol Halal La Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad. All right, what I said in Hebrew was bless Yahawa, bless Yahawa Shai three times. All praises to the Father, Yahawa, in the name of his son, Yahawa Shai. All right, and I said double honors to my apostles, bishops, and elders here at Great Millstone, and uh, salutations to the brothers, the hopeful elect around the world, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, um, I uh, just got a few precepts I wanted to just go over quickly and uh, straight to the point. You know, you got a lot of uh, false prophets out here, men that feign themselves to be your teachers. But instead, they're set up as false prophets by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. Matter of fact, there's a scripture that come to mind. Give me one second. Let me pull it up. Um, let me bring that scripture up. This is the book of Job, chapter 12, verse 16. It says, with him is strength and wisdom. And it says, the deceived and the deceiver are his. Let me read it again. This is Job chapter 12, verse 16. With him is strength and wisdom. That's Yahweh. All right. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. With him. Okay. Is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So those that are deceived and then those that are the deceiver it all belongs to the Most High. This is the Most High's will. All right. Let me get another scripture that come to mind real quick. It's the book of um, the book of Isaiah, chapter forty-five, and verse four. It says, "For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have sure named thee." Though thou hast not known me I am Yahweh And there is none else There is no God beside me I girded thee Though thou hast not known me That they may know That the rising That the rising of the sun And from the west That there is none beside me I am Yahweh And there is none else I form the light And create darkness I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. So it's Yahweh, okay? Our Heavenly Father that does all these things. So those that's being deceived, those that sent out there to deceive you, all right? The Lord said, I form the light, which is the truth. The men who follow in the spirit of spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. And it says, and he create darkness, those that's of the left. All right, those that's in that mind, mindset and wickedness, okay? Even Esau himself, the Most High created him to be the wicked, all right? You got three classifications of men. You got the sons of the living power, which are the Israelites, okay? You got the sons of man, which are the other nations. And then you have the sons of the wicked, which is Esau, Edom. The Most High did all these things. He says, I form the light and create darkness I make peace. So if the Heavenly Father want peace, then it's going to be peace. If the Heavenly Father want war, then it's going to be war. Matter of fact, I got another scripture that come to mind. Let's get um, let's get this. I haven't gotten this in a while. It was my go-to for every lesson. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. To everything... There is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So the Most High said to everything, there is a season. So there's always a season for something, for whatever it is that the Lord has in motion is for that season. It says to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So for the Lord's purpose, whether it's fulfilling prophecy all right, whether it's, you know, scattering Israel, whether it's for us to be in captivity and for this devil to rule over us. The scriptures say 
and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So according to that season, it's a purpose. It's a purpose. All right. It was a time for us to be asleep. It's a time for us to be awoke. Right now is the, the great awakening. All right. It says a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. These are all those things. That purpose. It says a time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace. A time to refrain from embracing. See? So it's the Lord, okay? Our Heavenly Father who sets the tempo, who sets the purpose. It's going to get into it. It says a time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rent. So I get there one second. Can't see out my windows. It's fogging up on me. It's raining. You need to see. All right. It says a time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. It was a time to keep silence. The Lord took his name away from us. He took us. He took his identity away from us. All right. Now is the time to speak. What they call this, the informational age. All right. All this information is coming out. The truth is out. It says a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What profit it, excuse me, what profit have, what profit have he that worketh and that wherein he laboreth? I have seen the travail which Yahweh have given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He have made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he have set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that the Most High maketh from the beginning to the end. Woo! It says, I know that there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of the Most High. It says, I know that whatsoever the Most High doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And the Most High doeth it, that men should fear before him. That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been. And the Most High requireth that which is past. All right? The Lord said he requireth that which is past. And that's us being the Hebrew Israelites, all right? The covenant which was given to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Lord looked for us to be what? The sons of God. Okay? The sons of the living power. Okay? He looked for us to rule. He set us, he set us up to be judges. All right? We're the true judges of the earth. But prophecy has to be fulfilled. Yahweh Shai has to return. He has to change us, man. Make us perfect. So to everything there is a season, let me go back up to the top, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. You know, that's the point on that. All right? Because the Lord does all, does all these things. Now, I want to get this scripture here. Give me one second. I forgot the verse. Um, Yep. This is the book of First Kings. Yeah, I got it highlighted. Okay. This is the book of First Kings, chapter 22. And I'm going to start at verse 19. Because you got many false prophets out here, man. All right. And you got very few of the Lord's true prophets. And it's the Most High's will that is that way. Because, hey. Like I said before, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, is not of this world, you know, and the work that he put in, you can't even imagine, man, you know, because not only the Lord has a great awakening, he's also keeping, you know, those that's not going to be saved on this side sleep. That's work, you know. Here it is, the Lord is bringing fame to his name, despite these uh, so-called kings, wannabe kings. You know, 
so-called, you know, these so-called wannabe kings of Israel, you know, instead of, you know, when you do your interviews, instead of putting the name out there, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, he putting himself up there. And y'all know who I'm talking about from IUIC. You know, the Lord is going to receive his fame. And when he reclaims that glory to his name, all right, people are going to jump on the bandwagon. Same guys who were scoffing, same guys who was talking they shit, who looked to kill you, destroy you, defame you. Well, guess what? You know, if you don't repent sincerely and, and, and be um, remorseful for what you've done, you ain't going to make it. Because the Lord made this thing for his elect. Okay? So at the same time, there's a great awakening of the Israelites. The same time, the Lord is keeping the, the masses of them also sleep so they can't really get it. You know? That's, that's, that's it. Lord, something else. Hey, you know, Yahweh, call Halala, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, man. All right? He did this thing perfect, man. So anyway, let's read the scripture here. This is 1 Kings 22 and 19. And he said, Here, thou therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. Now, this is Micah I. All right. Matter of fact, let's read. I just want to hit the point. I don't trying to read the whole thing. I'm going to start at 15. This is 1 Kings 22 and 15. It says, So he came to the king. And the king said unto Micah, shall we go against Ramoth Gilead to battle or shall we or shall we forbear? Or shall yeah, or shall we forbear? And he answered him, go and prosper for Yahweh shall deliver it into the hand of the king. It says, and the king said unto him, how many times shall I adjure you that thou tell me nothing but that which is true in the name of Yahweh. And he said, I saw all Israel scattered upon the hills as sheep that have not a shepherd. And Yahweh said, these have no master. Let them return every man to his house in peace. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, did I not tell thee that he would prophesy no good concerning me, but evil? Because he was a wicked man. And Micah, I came in the spirit and truth, the, the true in spirit, excuse me. And Micah, I came in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He came in the truth. He spoke the truth. He didn't lie. He didn't uh, be a yes man. All right. He spoke the truth according to what he was given by the heavenly father. All right. And how do you know a prophet is true? By his works, by his fruits. You know, here it is. When a prophet speak of a thing, if it come to pass, the scriptures say, then you know there was a prophet among you. So that's how you know a prophet, man. Because uh, there's other scriptures I want to get to. You got to judge the spirit by the spirit. You got these men, like t Captain Tazariot, fumbling the ball on Hassan Campbell's platform. You know? And that's because, you know, and I personally believe, and it's my humble opinion, them guys sold out. You sold out, man. It's no excuse uh, to, 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 go, to actually speak against the prophecy that is written when it's clear as day that it's in motion they got brain chips coming out for buying and selling did you did you not get the memo do you not understand that they going on it they want to lock us down again but this time lock us down so they can control us and they can start installing their software for their smart cities and other things it's just not that but it's other things do you not know that they want to control us and put that microchip in us because they want full control of our mind and body and spirit? They want to be as though they're the most high. Scriptures say they want to sit in the temple of the most high. How could you not see this truth? How could you not see the prophecy? So, you know, really, Hassan Campbell got more vision than Captain Tazariak, which claimed to be a teacher of Israel. So... You know, if it, if it come down to it, if Captain Cesare, I can, you know, take that karagma and Hassan Campbell don't, it's possible Hassan Campbell could be delivered. That's a shame because this man don't go out and teach the word, but he has the correct vision regardless of whatever scheme it is, whatever's going on. But he spoke the right vision according to Bible scripture, according to Bible scripture. And then Captain Cesare, I, fumbling the ball looking all scared if if 
Hassan Campbell had um uh pressed the issue and said, wait, hold on, buying and selling though. How could you buy and sell if it's all in the mind? You know? He would have really been in a, a hot seat, you know? Well, he was in the hot seat, but it's you know, he would have fell out the seat, you know? He'd have looked really embarrassed. These are false prophets, man. So let's continue the scripture. It says, um, and he said, and he said, I saw all Israel scattered upon the hills as sheep that have not a shepherd. And Yahweh said, these have no master. Let them return every man to his house in peace. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, did I not tell thee that he would prophesy no good concerning me, but evil? And he said, hear thou therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting on the throne and all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. And Yahweh said, who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one said on this manner and another said on that manner. So here it is, it's a court case. Micah, I saw in the spirit, the Lord allowed him to see in the vision in the heaven, the heavenly father sitting on the throne. All right, and you can you can picture this in your mind. I got a picture that that actually uh, kind of describes this particular moment. But Yahweh was sitting on the throne, and he had a host of angels and a whole, another host of angels. This angel said something on his on his right side. This angel said something on the left side. They was all speaking on how they can come against Ahab because the Most High ordered a, a, a council to come against Ahab. That's why it's important, man, to have a good name. Uh, in the heavens with the Lord, man. That's another thing, man. Excuse me, I'm getting excited, so like it, you know. But that's another thing. See, you know, that's why I start off the, the the lesson, man. This is for the elect, because the elect, you know, is is concerned in things in the spirit before the flesh, being sincere, you know, being honest and true to the word to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the flesh. Even though we can't be perfect in the flesh, but these are our these are our desires to be delivered, to be uh, to be worthy of being delivered. Because you want a good name in the heavens. When the Lord draw your name up, hey, when you want the Father to to speak well of you, instead of casting evil against you, some of these guys they just in the flesh, and all they care about is the flesh. This is why they teach, they 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 teach for men. They don't teach for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're carnal men. They're false prophets. Instead of waking up to the truth and fearing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and what the Lord will do unto them, they're teaching for a bag. They're teaching for money. They're teaching for reputation. You know? Us brothers here at Great Millstone, start with my apostles, bishops, and elders. We teach in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Just giving you the truth. You see? Not going on these platforms trying to big up their camps. If you're doing that, and if the opportunity presents itself, big up Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Let the world know what's the Lord's name. Let the whole world know the Lord's name. Because it's it's time. The Lord did all this to do what? For you to fumble the ball? The Lord gonna make guys a a, a, a public example, man. Hey, I pray Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have mercy on us brothers here at Great Millstone. Us brothers, sincere brothers, you know. Baba Kushai have mercy on us. Paul, Apostle Paul said, we know the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. You know, these guys don't really care for the terror of the Lord. You don't understand what the hell you doing. And I'm a young man, you know, I don't like talking like, you know, I'm, I'm before anybody, you know, but I'm, I'm uh, in my mind, I'm convinced, man. All right. I'm fully persuaded, you know, call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, continue to, to help me and, and be with me and, and continue to keep my faith, you know, keep give the gift of faith. And I speak as a, a man, you know, I, I'm a humble servant, you know. You guys do not understand what the fuck, what the Lord is going to do, you know. You're not, they don't care about this, man. But hey, you know, I can't put the fear into you. So let's continue the lesson, right? It says, verse 19, and he said, Here, thou therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting on sitting on the throne, and all the host of heaven, all the host of heaven, standing by him on his right hand and on his left. And Yahweh said, "Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead 
and one said on this manner and another said on that manner and there came forth a spirit and stood before Yahweh and said I will persuade Ahab so it was a spirit that stood up and gave the Lord you know um, a position that what he would do right so the, the Heavenly Father heard him it says and Yahweh said unto him wherewith and he said I will go forth and I will be a lion spirit in the mouth of all these excuse me in the mouth of all his prophets let me read it again and I will go forth and I will be a lion spirit in the mouth of all his prophets and he said thou shall persuade him and prevail also go forth and do so so the most high said yup that'll work so what the lion spirit did immediately he go right into his his men his yes men all right and let these men speak well of him and everything that he do you know and i'm relating this to the false prophets because the heavenly father could put a lion spirit on you that's why he's supposed to fear yahweh bashmi al shai and fear and teaching this truth matter of fact i gotta jump to another scripture real quick i ain't gonna hold you i haven't even grabbed the scriptures i actually wrote down um but hey spirit of the lord man all right um okay second corinthians one of my favorite scriptures second corinthians 4 with apostle paul all right church to the, a letter to the church of corinth corinth uh second corinthians 4 and 1 therefore seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy we faint not but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty not walking in craftiness nor handling the word of yahweh deceitfully but by manifestation of the truth commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of yahweh because we know the lord is watching we know the angels are watching we know yahweh Shah is watching you know we're not deceiving the lord and we're not deceiving ourselves we're hoping to please yahweh bashim yahweh Shai. what's the scripture say without faith it's impossible to please him so these guys out here man lord go lord oh man you know they don't care about pleasing the lord man because he's not physically here but he's always watching it says but we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty so you ain't supposed to be dishonest dishonest man you're supposed to be honest you know and that starts with yourself first be honest with yourself first so you could be honest with others it says not walking in craftiness some of these guys are crafty as fuck man especially iurc they crafty as hell you know the i ain't got to run down all the shit they did it's out there you know anyway it says nor handling the word of yahweh deceitfully some guys are handling the word deceitfully man like these false prophets you know it's clear as day what the motb is but because you got to keep up with the doctrine a false doctrine of, of your leaders you know because your leaders sold out you know inside that you're telling lies so you got to wing it and you on t television fuck it you know it's youtube but all those different subscribers and views that's television man worldwide is being seen you're being recorded man then meanwhile the lord got his uh his pro his uh his prophets his true prophets defending the gospel you know making sure that those of the elect go in the right path man all right and can remain in the truth it says but by manifestation of the truth commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the most high if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost in whom the god of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not least the light of the glorious gospel of yahweh shah mashiach who is the image of yahweh should shine unto them so yahweh shah ain't shining unto them man all right it says for we preach not ourselves you hear that nate you know we're not preaching ourselves all right but hamashiach yahweh shai the lord and ourselves the servants for yahweh shai's sake let me read that again for we preach not ourselves but hamashiach yahweh shai the lord the lord hamashiach yahweh shai and and ourselves your servants for yahweh shai's sake let me read it again for we preach not ourselves but Hamashiach Yahweh the Lord and ourselves your servants 
for Yahweh Shai's sake. We're servants for Yahweh Shai's sake. Yahweh Shai is in the spirit world. All right, he's looking. He's here when two or three are gathered. He's watching. He's with brothers through the spirit. He said, I will send you the comforter, Rakakwadash. Brothers are able to teach. What's the scripture say? Um, if it wasn't out for the Lord, they would have swallowed us up. You know, so the Lord is with brothers through the spirit. So we're supposed to be honest because we're servants of Yahweh Shai's sake, teaching you what Yahweh Shai taught us. You know, and the elect is going to get it, man. Because again, the Lord have also blinded eyes that they should not see, ears that they should not hear unto this day. Scripture say, um, uh, uh, ah, let me go there real quick. Okay. Romans 11 and 7. It says, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. What then? I'm stressing it. What then? <laughs> what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. What Israel seek for? The truth. The truth is the matter that's coming out. The truth and matter. All right. The truth that's coming out is that we are the Hebrew Israelites, not black, but the Hebrew Israelites, forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. Sons of the Most High. All right. I got to hurry up. It says, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election, key word, election, have obtained it. What they obtained? That truth. It says, and, and the rest, the rest of them were blinded. According as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always. It says, I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? The most high forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is coming to the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. That's the point. All right. That's the point on that. Right. So, um, I want to go back to Kings real quick. First Kings 22 and 21. And I'm going to try to speed it up so I can wrap the show up. It says that there came forth a spirit and it stood before Yahweh and said, I will persuade him. And Yahweh said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and be a lion spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also go forth and do so. Now, therefore, behold, Yahweh have put a lion spirit in the mouth of all these thou prophets, and Yahweh have spoken evil concerning thee. So the Lord, man, some of these guys is on the Lord's hit list, man. The Lord set you up, but he set you up to make you an example. You know, that's why you got to fear Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, and teach the truth, man. And stop deceiving these people for money. Stop deceiving these people for pride. You know, because you're going to have to answer to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah exists, man. You know, these, these prophecies ain't happening for no reason. This book ain't true for no reason. All right. So, um, with that being said, the Lord put a lying spirit on some, on these guys, these false prophets, man. Um, let's bring this out. Matthew 7 and 15. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly they are raven and wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. That's why, see, we out here teaching the word, man, us brothers. Hopeful elect, Yahweh Bashem Shai are teaching the word for, for the Lord's elect, sincere men. Not handing out pamphlets just for a body to be a part of the camp. Because these men that just handing out a pamphlet for a body to be a part of the camp ain't of the Lord's elect. They don't even know the scriptures like that. They don't even care to. They just want to be a part of something, man. You know, that ain't that ain't what it takes to make it, man. Okay. So it says, even so. Every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. A brother that can come into the faith, eat the word, and then he can set, be set up as the ladder to continue to teach the word. That's a good piece of fruit. Brother, remain faithful. 
one of the Lord's hopeful elect, he's a hopeful elect, and he's out there continuing to teach the word in which he was taught, carrying the torch, man, until the day that Yahweh Shai come. And we know we near. It ain't that much long left. Look at these prophecies, man. The Lord gonna have to make a move when Esau forced that karagma. When the scriptures say he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his right hand or his forehead, the Lord gonna have to make a move. Because if Esau society get established when we living under a smart city, we all been microchipped, then what need of the Lord, then there's no flesh. No flesh would be saved, as Yahweh Shah said. He said he's shortened the days for the elect's sake, least no flesh would be saved. We can't live like that. Esau have in mind being in our bodies as if he the most high, controlling our thoughts, reading our minds, you know, bringing us into a, a, a more in debt, uh, a perpetual slavery, you know. Meanwhile, we're in slavery now, but he wants to uh, make he wants to bring us even more in debt of slavery, man, to where he can control what we buy, even when we got the funds to buy what we want to buy, you know. The Lord got it. The Lord going to do something. He got. He has to do something. It's all fitted right in the scriptures of prophecy. Yahweh Shai is prophecy, man. That's why you got to teach Yahweh Shai because he is the spirit of prophecy. Anyway, it says, um, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. And you know them because, let me read that again. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Yeah, because they're not teaching according to the word. The scriptures say, uh, if, they, if they teach not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Roughly paraphrasing. The Yahweh Shai ain't in them. So they're not teaching Yahweh Shai. They're not going to push his name, man. Because Yahweh Shai ain't in them. They, they you know. Uh, read this real quick and I'm close. Second Peter is 2 and 1. But there were false prophets also among the people. See? There's always been false prophets among the true prophets. Even as there be false teachers among you who privately shall, who privately shall bring in damnable hearsayers even denying the Lord that brought them <laughs> and bring upon themselves swift destruction. It says, and many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of and through covetedness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you whose judgments now of a long time lingereth not and their damnation slumbereth not. For if the Most High spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down into hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, which is us, the chains of darkness is these bodies. You know, don't let no crazy nut from, from the uh, government churches tell you the angels fell from heaven. You know, this is talking about us. The chains of darkness is the body. Okay. All right. Our spirits are, are, are in this sinful flesh. Okay. It says, and spared not the old world. And save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of un, the world of un, of the ungodly. Because let me read this again, Salakia. It says, and spared not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person. It says, and preached of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, which is this was the first death, and it was Noah, all right, his sons and their wives. That made it. It says a preacher of righteousness. Noah was a preacher of righteousness. It says bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, because the Lord destroyed the wicked back then. That's the first death. Now we're going in. With, with what's coming to pass will be the second death. It says verse six and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overflow, making them an example unto those after should live ungodly. So now you got Sodom and Gomorrah where Lot was at. And the most high rain coals of fire on their head, man. Fire and brimstone. Okay. And um and that was made as an example. All right, for those that lived ungodly. It says, and delivered just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, for that righteous man dwelleth among them, and seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. It says, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation. And to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. It says, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they, self-willed, 
they are not afraid of to speak evil of dignities whereas the angels which are greater in power and might bringing not railing accusations against them before the lord but these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of things that they understood not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption it says and shall receive the reward of the unrighteousness excuse me and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they that counted pleasure to riot in the daytime spots they are spots they are and blemishes sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin beguiling unstable souls and heart that have exercised with covetous practice cursed children which have forsaken the right way and are going astray following the way of Balaam the son of Bashur who love the wages of unrighteousness you know that's the point all right beware of the false prophets you know and uh continue to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai pray without ceasing remember to um pray without ceasing stay humble and be patient man all right you know and pray for the Lord shorten these days for the elect's sake and we almost out of here you know pray for protection man from these evil spirits Pray, pray to continue the Lord take not away your, the Holy Spirit from you as King David said you know renew a right spirit at, uh, within you you know every day man you know and then with that you can't go wrong scripture say give diligence to make your call and election sure you know <laughs> you know you don't want to be seduced in the spirit seduced by wicked spirits you know because they out here you know, so hey, with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Chodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.